This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ram 3500 long bed dual rear wheel crew cab. It's a 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive and it's an SLT trim package. It has 186,050 actual miles. It was a uh, new car dealer trade into Jim Click Jeep here in Tucson, about a mile east of where we're standing right here. Um, beautiful truck. Uh, it is a Tucson vehicle from beginning to end. Uh, I'll show you the auto check, which is the history of the vehicle. You'll be able to see it. There'll be a link for that in the ad. I'll show you the couple comps that I could find in the entire planet for this vehicle. Very hard to find a vehicle in this condition. This 5.9, um, amazing. I'll take the oil cap off for you when we start it. Uh, there's no blow by, there's no back pressure at all. This thing was really well taken care of. Um, all we did was send it to detail. Uh, my brother already took photos of it. After he took photos of it, I noticed that there was a couple spots like right here where there was paint chipped off. And so I got some matte black and I just kind of cleaned it up because I couldn't stand looking at it because it's that perfect. <laughs> anyway, um, exhaust, it has an exhaust brake. It has a uh, dual, I believe, we believe it's a uh, gravity fed tank uh, in the bed. There's an um, air ride compressor system in the bed with a... Uh, with a uh, attachment so you can hook up airlines to it, um, fill tires, etc. Uh, fifth wheel bracket. There's a hard rolling tonneau cover. Now all that extra stuff I'm mentioning uh, is in the truck. All right, we're selling the truck. Not I say this about DVD players and stuff like that too. You know, do not call me and say, oh, the compressor on the right side, you know, suspension didn't work. It works great right now, but we are not selling suspension, air ride suspension, or tonneau covers. We're selling a really nice truck, okay? Looks like this upper bumper cover has been repainted before because you got this over, this little chipping here going on. Very common in Dodges and Chevys in that era. Um, boy, it's a pretty truck. This thing is going to be very popular. I mean, it's got a nice set of Michelins. All six of them. Uh, fronts look like they're 70, 80% tread. Rears look about the same. Um, don't have to worry about rust because it's a Tucson truck from day one. So don't have to worry about that issue. Uh, my job in these videos isn't to tell you how great something is. That'll kind of be obvious at some point in this video as we drive it and we look at it. But uh, man, a lot of truck here, a lot of truck. Um, now, to get a lot of truck, we have to pay a lot for it, but uh, it's kind of like that red truck, that F-250-02 we just sold. Um, I paid a fortune for that, and a man in Maine bought it. Long way from Tucson, and uh, boy, he can't wait. Um, here's that little connector I was talking about. It looks like it got a shutoff switch here, blah, blah, blah. That's for extra air. There's your tank back there. You got a plug here, plug here. I see a bed plug back there. You got the brackets for the fifth wheel. The only thing I see really going on here is a ding here. Got one of those steps right here. It looks, helps you get up in the bed a little bit. God damn, this thing's impressive. Yeah, the tires are great. Here's your air ride right there, okay. Let's see. First of all, let's make sure the keys, that's locked, that's unlocked, then we'll go, let's see, locked, unlocked, boom. All right, let me get the AC going in this thing, man. It is freaking 5,000 degrees right now. So hot. Hundred and eighty-six thousand and fifty-one miles on the truck right now as it sits. Um, let's see. Before we go into the hood, I'll show you some stuff here. This is the uh, couple comps that we got. This is uh, uh, July twenty-seventh, two thousand twenty-two. This is for an 04 Dually with one hundred and seventy-nine thousand miles. Twenty-seven nine eighty in uh, is a fair deal. That's in Pennsylvania, so probably rust involved there too and it's a year older um let's see gotta get all my stuff backwards here of course here is uh car gurus 72702 uh 192,000 mile good deal 
$23,999. Now, my opinion on this one is there's probably something very wrong with this truck or something. There's something not right. That's super cheap. But that's the only. those are the only comps I can come up with. Here's your uh, auto check. There's your VIN. They give it a score of 77 with 72 being uh, average. So it's obviously got a great history. Um, let's see. No odometer issues. Like I said, you can look at the uh, in our ad and click on the links for this stuff if you want it. Uh, no major title problems. Let's see. No accidents, no damage. That's the odometer going the right direction. Let's see. It's a Tucson vehicle. There's a lot of Tucson from birth on. Let's see. Yeah, we're still in Tucson, blah, blah, blah. I like the last one, the last page. Tucson, Tucson, let's see, right here. 183,706, engine service, transmission service, lube oil, filter at 183,706. So about 2,800 miles ago it was serviced, okay? And I'll tell you what, I, I drive these things, I do, I've done tens of thousands of diesel trucks in my life and I know when they sound right when they sound bad this one sounds great under the hood it looks fantastic here's your exhaust brake setup watch this so almost all of these you get a little bit of back pressure none zero none no blow by at all that is a nice motor right there really nice motor aftermarket airbox man this thing is beautiful I'm sure that there's a person who knows all that stuff under the hood and it's going oh my god look at that stuff <laughs> because it's pretty impressive this truck is really impressive there's your window up and down somebody's recovered the front seats which is normal for these things they get real nasty on the on the seat cushions so they recovered them which obviously doesn't match the rear i like this better um but if you wanted to match them they have that fabric everywhere and you could just take these off it costs about 150 dollars 175 dollars a seat to do this about 350 you can match the rears i like this i think it looks good there's your manuals nothing hiding under there um, they didn't do that seat, right? Because they didn't need to. No one sits there. Ah, oh, this truck is cool. Super cool. You can tell when a car's from Tucson. You know, East Coast, Midwest cars get rust around the bolts and stuff. This thing looks brand new. It's crazy. Rolling hard tonneau cover. Um, it does slide back and forth. We do not have the key for it, so you're gonna have to have a key made for this, okay? Probably because they never locked it. I mean, it's not very convenient to lock those things. Kind of a hassle to slide them back and forth. Mirror, out, in, up, down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Let's see. Seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, tilt up, tilt down. This motor is moving fast, too. Golly. They must have put a new motor in this seat when they did it, too, because that thing moves way too fast. Here's your tilt wheel. All right, let me hop in this bad boy. Yeah, electric motors and moonroofs and stuff don't work that fast. <laughs> they just don't. They never do. So, I would say somebody's probably, when they did the seat, they probably put a new motor in it. All right, let me get some AC on me. It is freaking hot and muggy. Yes, last night it rained all day. Today it got to 107. It's a swamp. All right, this is how I think this works. I believe that's the compressor. Turn the compressor on, and then that fills it. See the gauge going up? Same thing with these guys. 
go like this. See the gauge is going up. And then to release the air, there's that. And turn that off and go, boom, hit this top button. There you go. Let's see, we got a cup holder here. Ashtray without an ashtray, which is great. Um, I know the radio, the volume can, knob sucks kind of, which is kind of common for these guys. Kind of got a, it's like it's stripped or something. I don't know. He probably had a factory. He had a, probably had an aftermarket radio and he put this back in when he traded it. Um, here's your brake. Watch the, when I do this, watch the exhaust. See the, see the odometer? That's off. That's on. When I do that button, off, on. So yeah, that's functional. So you got some aftermarket uh, fuel pressure, turbo boost, transmission oil temperature, pyrometer, okay? Let's see, we also have cruise control right there. Let's see, windshield wipers, boom. All right, let me put it in a neutral. You go to four low. All right. This thing's a beast. Holy cow. That's definitely four low, guys. That would uh, pull this building. All right, that's reverse and four low. Now we're gonna go to four high. Now we're at four high. Hopefully we can go a little quicker than that. Yeah, there you go. Boy, this thing is sweet. I love this truck. And reverse. All right, everything works there, of course. Go back to two wheel drive. There's tow haul, that's here, on and off. All right, let's go for a ride. I didn't hear what it sounded like if the jack isn't tied down underneath the back seat, which is one of my pet peeves. That means the detail shop didn't put it back right. Let's hear if we can listen for it here. Well, this thing is tight. pay the following your state tax plus our city of 2.7 and a 250 dollars dock fee if you pay by wire and ship it out of state all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it no tax no dock fee nothing once we receive full payment fill out the title your name or your company's name and address we'll sign it off to you scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you we even scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in okay um you will have it shipped to you the title will be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up and then when the shipper shows up, um, you'll just take your truck and the title to your motor vehicles and uh, get plates. It's very simple, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know. We can uh, add the uh, price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one price and I can get a chip for you, or you're welcome to ship it yourself. Deposits, $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. Get your deposit in, okay? All right, last part of every video, the auto mall is exact we're on wetmore road and this is romero about a half a mile east of us on this road is the auto mall there they have salesmen they have lounges and attendants serving scones let me turn the ac down it's freezing in here now um serving scones and lattes they have a game room at one of them they have beautiful pavement we don't have any of that stuff so we don't have to pay for it so we don't have to make every dime possible okay um, they also know at the auto mall, if they were to sell you this vehicle and something were to break, that you're going to kill them if you, they don't fix it because it's expensive. And, and uh, they also include five to $700 in every deal it, to, as backup to repair vehicles, okay? So if something's wrong and you bring it in and it costs more than $700, they'll just give you your money back for the truck and sell it to somebody else the same way, okay? That's how it rolls. We don't do that. What we do is we give you the smoking deal up front so you can make a good decision and afford to uh, pay for the repairs that this thing will need eventually because they all need something eventually 
Uh, when it breaks, you won't say, that oh, damn cross cut screwed me. You'll be like, well, I bought it really cheap, and they said that someday it'll break, and it will, you know? Uh, and uh, now we can afford to fix it. It's a real pretty simple policy. Now, if you want to pay us an extra 2,500 to three grand more, uh, we'll be glad to give you a six month warranty, <laughs> you know? But you'll, nothing will break, most likely, and you'll wish you had the three grand. Well, we're giving you the three grand up front, okay? And I forgot my keys. On my, on my remote, I mean, so let's see. Oh, it's also got some sort of an aftermarket remote because, I mean, aftermarket horn because that sounded pretty, pretty loud, <laughs> kind of trainish. So, anyway, bottom line is you're the owner on day one. If something breaks, you're fixing it and you can afford to fix it because you paid less to us than you will to anybody else, okay? Um, that is the truth, all right? And we want people to know how we roll so that there's no surprises. All the gauges up there work. Obviously the turbo's not working because we're not uh, driving a turbo right now. We're stopped. All these gauges. It's, this thing is tight as a freaking drum, man. I love this truck. This would be a nice truck to have. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not in the job of keeping trucks. I'm in the job of selling them. So, anyway. And that's Mexico, about 60 miles that direction. And it's starting to build up some clouds and it's hot as hell, which means it's gonna rain like crazy in a couple hours. Even though in this video you wouldn't know it, it is. Anyway, I think that's about it. Now I gotta find a place to park this thing. I think I'm gonna move that red truck out since it's sold and put this one where it is so that the cameras are right. Let's see, we got a camera there and camera there. We can keep an eye on it, all right? And I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.